Now, we are approaching the end times. In the end times, everything is going to turn topsy-turvy. When everything turns topsy-turvy, there is going to arise a breed of people that will be a mixed breed between evil spirits and human genes. That will be a breed. As it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the last days. There will be this breed. If you read Daniel chapter 2, when Nebuchadnezzar sees the statue, and then the scripture where it says the feet is like clay and iron that will be like together but they will not be together and then it says there a small little word which all of us overlook and he will mingle together with the sons of men who is the he that will mingle again that goes back to the days of Noah how the evil spirits mingled with the sons of men and a different race a different breed was produced on the earth and during that breed that particular group of people group they introduced demon worship demon sacrifice and all kinds of witchcraft practices were introduced by those demons by that breed she is an angelic breed fallen angels and humans joined together they have special kind of wisdom and they revealed all this to humankind and they practice sacrificing their children to fire sacrificing their children to Molech sacrificing their children to Satan a blood sacrifice it all started not just in India where there's so much of blood sacrifice been given but from the days of Noah when the human sacrifice was given to the demons it all started from that day when God destroyed the people of Noah's days through the flood the flesh got killed not the soul and the spirit they live on because they lived on that is why during the conquest of Canaan you'll find that there were giants in the land where did those giants come from I used to wonder you know where did the giants come from when all the giants were killed in the deluge then where did these sons of Zumin come from Goliath and his brothers and all these Anakim sounds like a name from Star Wars <laughs> Anna Kim, this Kim, that Kim, several Kims you know they are all the various giant race groups that were living during that time where did they come from? the soul lives on and from those times till today there is an intermingling taking place which we are not aware of but in the last days this will escalate this will escalate into a larger proportion the Antichrist needs an army of that breed he needs that and that is why this group will be resurrected or they will come back again on the scene it will make the way for the intermingling of the seed of unrighteousness with the seed of righteousness this will take place in the last days and when it, this seed is there there will be anarchy great chaos great mass killings taking place in great numbers so how are we going to protect ourselves in the last days now there is a prophecy in the Bible that says in the last days 
the spade and the flesh hooks will all be turned into weapons of war. They will be all turned into weapons of war. So, in the end times, just like how God commanded Israel to kill their enemies for their survival, for their living in the land, God will need to give us new set of commandments version 3.0 this is not laughing matter you know this is very serious stuff that we are going to enter into the, the days are already here we are at the doorstep now you know I read about a pastor a minister of God an American minister who went to London and he stood in the streets and preached against the gays and a passerby who was a gay was so offended by his preaching because he boldly said a statement like this the lifestyle of gay homosexuality is sin in the eyes of God that man was so offended he reported the minister to the police the police came arrested him and he was put in prison one entire day taken down all his statement and then he was let free with a warning never to speak on such topics again you see such laws are already here at our doorstep so what will we do keep mum about it and I'm glad that brother Bobby very forcefully last night spoke against it how many of us will do that are we going to be a chicken those days are right at our doorstep those days are not very far into the future, you know, right at your doorstep.